one it is. That one. Wow, what a cut that was. What's the score? Five oh, nil. Bo, right? Yes. And Bo won the first set? Yes. Swing deck shit the bed, too. How the hell that happen? It does that when the computer crashes. So how do you restore that, then? I'm going to restore it. Let me try something though, real quick. Somebody told me about something I want to try. Shock, Clayton. Nope. Didn't work. I try to unplug it, unplug it back in. Doesn't work. <coughs> you gotta restore it. So let me get the game going. Yep. What was the score? Five nothing? Mm -hmm. Five one. Five one. Five one bow. I mean yep. Clayton. Bow. Bow is up five one. working sorry guys about that yeah we share the link but it's obviously <laughs> fucking laptop just froze completely um what's the other thing i gotta get working instant replay oh i gotta get the stream deck so when that happens you gotta do this oh i think i remember that restore right or something like that yeah I haven't saved it in a while, so anything new is going to be fucked. Go to the last backup I created, which was uh, May 17th. Oh, because this is up. Okay. I believe we're back. We have viewers? Uh, Sorry, guys. Five. The laptop just fucking froze completely. I had to restart the computer. Fucking technology. This is Tembo race the 10, right? Yes. Uh, we'll overcut that. Uh, call shot, call safe. Clayton gave him the shot back. And Bo's calling safe. Uh, let's try. Kicking at the one? Yep. I think we're there. What's today's and date? Clay 16? Yeah. And Clayton's got a pocket for the one here. Audio good? You know, check on your thing. Nothing's more frustrating when you get a good stream going. And yeah, I agree. No rhyme or reason for it either. Nope. Sounds like we're live. All right, I'm like Sutton Death back in the chair. All right. Oh. Either restore the stream deck, so. I mean, it looks like it's mostly already there. So. Mostly everything's there because I haven't touched it since right. May. There you go. Get back in the chair. Was, yeah, I was going to away. Throw my cable out. Oh, what the hell is your fucking... Alright. Alright. You know, it's old. You wouldn't be grunting as much. Yeah, I know. 
Fucking old. God, that sucked. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Well, we are back. Unfortunately, we Our lost. Viewers are yeah, unfortunately. We got to sh- reshare, reshare the live stream. Reshare the link. Is that working? Yeah. Uh, oh, that didn't have that clicked. Click it. I just want to test yep. it. Yep. You're fine. Okay. Alrighty. We are back. We missed one rack. One and a half racks. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Wanna re- you want to reshare the link to get, yep. the, to get the viewers back? I'm going to try. Dave Morganelli, how are you, sir? I'm going to reshare the link. Yep. Nice shot. Don't get straight. Don't get straight here. Ouch. He's pretty straight. He's straight. He's pretty straight. I mean, he's got to just roll this ball in and take a long, difficult shot in the 10. He has to. He's got no other chance. He's got no other choice. He's going to shoot this 10 ball. Oh, he's going to try to play it real first. To try to get, to try to manufacture any kind of angle on this 10. And he did. Yeah, was really, that's pretty much the best he could have done from there. So here we go. This 10 ball to get another game back. Watch out for the scratch. That's what he's afraid of. Say, so watch out for the scratch in the opposite corner. You almost got to stroke this ball. And draw it to, to the side rail and out. You know, I didn't get a chance to hook up with when I went to Vegas. Great shot. It was Chris Wiemann. Seriously? Yeah, I was going to, but I didn't have time. 5-2. Clayton pulls another one back. For those of you just joining us, when we got kicked off, you are watching Bo Powers versus Clayton Rocha. And in two weeks, we have John Shiner versus Richard Knight. My name is Steve Sutton. Sutton Death in the booth with you guys alongside Chris Freeman. He actually is here tonight. Thank God, because that would have stunk. <laughs> if uh, he wasn't here, because we had uh, our whole the whole laptop froze for no reason. Yeah, and like you said, it's not really warm or anything. It's not like it's overheating or anything. So here we go to the break. Watch the five and the eight. Eight balls in. And a shot on the one? No way. First time in this match. It is. And I think the key to this rack. Key to this rack is right there with the four and the eight. If you play the... Well, now he's in trouble because now the two ball is in trouble. But... No, I mean, he's looking at playing the two off the four. I think from where he is, that's a smart shot. Rob Gear, how are you, sir? Everyone has the stream back. Everything good? What the hell was that? What? Oh, that was you making like mouth noises? Beatbox? Your beatboxes? Yep. And get the. Two a little full. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, let me see here. Share it out to a bunch of groups. Hope everyone else shares out. This will show up as the uh, part two. Try to get some of the um, Buster's Billiard Facebook page. Try to get some of these viewers back. We had almost 50. We're yeah. at 45 for most of the night. The 12. That sucks. Yeah, we, like I said, we were at 40, 45 for most of this whole match. And can Clayton see that? 
the two. Yeah. You should be able to see the edge of it. Right, you couldn't see enough to pocket it, I'm saying. No, obviously not. And... Yeah, that, from that'll work. Yeah, it's a pretty easy kick and stick. Uh, He's crawling. He's going to cut it right I in. I was just going to say, I, I I looked at that. I didn't think Take you could see that angle. Kids. This is a Dexter kill table shot. And he did what we said. That's what I thought, but he pointed to that corner. I didn't think he could cut that. Yeah. McLean's got a spot shot here on the deuce. This is all the natural angle to the three. This is almost Rose. like the uh, the shootout shot for the uh, World Pool Series. Yep. Been the thing of the same thing. Yeah, it's the exact same shot. It's natural position to the three. Nice try. Which I gotta say, with the whole World Pool series I was talking about, I definitely gotta bring up on how unfortunate it is that we lost Steinway Billiards. Yeah, that place closed. Closed abruptly. for good. Yeah, they're done. They uh, and that was the home of the Hustlers, the where that movie took place. TV show The Hustlers. Yep, the TV show The Hustlers. Um, Jennifer Beretta and uh, Emily Dudley and uh, Dudley. Our good friend, Mr. Michael DeShane. And, uh... And, um... Finnegan. Um, Finnegan and, um... Uh, Scott Simonetti. Scott Simonetti and, uh... What's Mike's friend's name from the Boston Bombing? Jerry Clowry. Clary, Jerry Clowry. All those guys. Yep. And, uh... I should have got two, uh, two seasons out of it. No, I didn't. And then Steinway, like I said, had the uh, w the WPS, the World Pool Series was there. And you know, Darren Appleton's baby. Yeah, and I'll tell you right now, that was... This five ball is going to be tough. Yeah. It's not quite on the rail, but still. If you haven't seen it yet, YouTube it. Chris Melling's eight ball out it is the most phenomenal eight ball out ever. I don't think so. Huh? That's uh, he made those four shots that were unreal. Yeah. He made Johnny Archer like wow. <laughs> was he playing Johnny Archer? I don't think he was. John, no, Johnny Archer was doing commentary. He was playing Mika oh. Eminem. He was playing Mika. Mika actually gave him an applause for it. Wow. He wanted to stay straight on that five. Look at this. The Zippo no. Boopo. That I'm was uh, all inside English. Got perfect on the five. I see that again. How far below the point is he? Oops. Oh, that. Look at this. No. <laughs> that was. That was Efren Reyes. That was pretty impressive right there. That was almost like a. Point is he go to go to five for a second? Regular is. He's, he's got plenty to go down. He's gonna try drawing back though. No, I think he's like playing a stop shot. I think. I'm looking at his cue ball. I think he's playing a stop shot. Oh shit. That you know that works because now he doesn't have to even use the. He's, he's gonna, gotta come down table. Is he gonna force follow uh, two rails into this for the seven? Yeah, that's what he's yeah. Playing. Or just one rail. No, I think he's at enough angle. Well, I think he's at enough angle. I just go one rail down the table. Maybe maybe, maybe two. Yeah, but you're just measuring the shoot there. So yeah, so probably two. two yeah. Top right. Oh. But, I mean, that worked out nicely, you know, over the pocket like that. He doesn't have to even bridge off the rail. Yeah, see, I told you. Yeah, that's that one rail. That's be down a little bit what lower. I saw at first. You have to follow this to the rail and back across for the seven. Yep. I mean, for the nine, excuse me. Floor.
more of a reason I come across two rails or just one rail. I just probably go two you. rails. Yeah. Oh, we're there. Well, that's definitely what we wanted to do. Wow, you almost went in the drink. Yeah, I mean, almost only can. It says in hand, sh hand shoes. Jesus Christ. Horseshoes so is he gonna and hand grenades. Draw this across? Is he going to just use Just roll with it. Team? No, you're just going to roll this. I, I, would, I would think. Being kind of stretched out, I would just roll this right in the corner. It's going to hit right around a diamond out of the corner if you hit to the top. Yeah, I would just top it. There's no reason to draw this. Just like that. Perfect. Right on the diamond. Almost like yeah. I knew what you were talking about. 6-2. <laughs> Bo, Bo just said, I got lucky. I know it. He he kind of did, actually, on that nine ball. Well, we got half our viewers back. We got 21. Jeff, what's going on, buddy? Oh, fuck. I was in the wrong, I was in the wrong screen. Sorry about that, guys. The laptop completely froze, and I had to it, restart the screen. It is Jeff Burnham. So I apologize. Stroker's for billiards. It's part of technology. Yeah. Got to take the good with the bad. What you have? I wonder, wonder, wonder why I couldn't see the chat. Hey, it was over here. Go to file safe. I just did. I'll be right back and get a drink after yeah. that fiasco. Yeah. And and he's got a ball on the break, shooting the one. Oh, ow. are you leaving? Oh, I'm Brad. Yeah. Well, I can go. Well. I'll take you to dinner somewhere else. I don't care. Bye, sweetie. Bye. She's such a sweetheart. Yeah. What's her name again? Yeah, right. <laughs> All the cool kids hang out at Strokers. You get that right. I know what it says. We haven't showed their stream up there for a while. Huh? Who they got next week? What? At uh, Strokers. Don Laws, right? Yeah. Who's she playing? Um, he's driving all the way from Connecticut. She played. Jay she's playing Jason Shaw. Jason Shaw, the one and only. Yeah. Date night with Jason Shaw. Yeah. So is he gonna? Oh. I was just gonna do something spectacular, like kick off the bottom rail, and kick the three in the side. You see that? Yeah. That'd have been nice. To see that shot. What do you do for the floor here? Well, let's do a quick bathroom break. Who? I think uh, Clayton's going to, or he's talking to Stu, but I think he's, I think he's taking a bathroom break. So let's. Somebody's uh, got somebody's to write something on the wall. Yeah. So hang on one second, guys. We're doing, we haven't done this for Quick a bathroom break. Well, that was, well, that's pre show. That's why. It's all right. Still shows some of the stuff. So it's a good match tonight. Back and forth. Yeah, it just sucks that we lost. It sucks that the stream went down, oh. but we got it back up, so that's good. Yep. And we got about half our viewers. If I was in Vegas. Would have been a little bit longer down. You know how to recover for that stuff, right? You gotta just reboot the laptop. Mm -hmm. The key is to make sure you hit file save a lot. I don't yell at you ever. Ship the cash, Mr. Mike DeMarco. 
the godfather of Hulu New England. The bus is full. Oh. First six months she filled up, couldn't take any more clients. She oh, really? Busy. Yeah. She wants to get another bus, but she can't find anyone that has her work ethic. Let me show this. T.J. Garland this and is Missy Garland, the uh, I'm cured of this. Hang on. Strokers and Mrs. Tell Strokers and here. 116 Bridge Street. So you want to be on Thursday night throwdown. No longer Wednesday Even night. Even though this is on night. a Wednesday, right. <laughs> it's now called the Thursday night throwdown. Yep. But this is this match in hey, particular in, is on we're Wednesday. We're back in is the it? And the rest of them are on Thursday. No, I got it. I got it. Breathe. Yes, thank you. Jesus. And we're going to be careful because we're going to start sounding like those two old guys that I can't stand. The Muppets? No. Del Birdie and uh, what's his face? Oh. You don't like them? No, they're always arguing. They, they, they're horrible commentators. Mike Siegel? Never heard Mike Siegel commentate. Oh, I know. Um, Danny Del Danny, Berto Danny and, uh, the other guy. I don't know who the other one is. I don't know either. But they, they just argue. We joke around. We do. I'm right and you're wrong. That's all there is to it. Keep thinking that. It's my stuff. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean you're right or wrong. <laughs> all right. Now, does Clay go three rails here? You get a better position on the nine? Absolutely ball, not. Nope. Or is he just going to take the long He's shot? He's going to take the long shot. He's already measured his cue ball where he wants it. He's going to roll it to that rail. Just like that. A little inside English to give him a little bit less of an angle, but... You can see right there, it's a pretty good shot. I'm seeing about five seconds. Down it goes. Down it goes. Six to three. You almost scratched. Six three. I'm going to ask which one of those guys real quick. What did they say? Clayton's going down? Yeah, so we're in the bathroom. I don't know. Clayton's going down on the fifth. Seventeen viewers, share that stream, guys. Let's go, guys. When we get our Friday night fight, we did get Jeff Burnham. Do not call stream. Brett Chansky. We need to change that. Do not call Brett Chansky. You want to get a hold of Chris Freeman? Is booking the matches. Um, I have booked for the summer, and I'm completely full. Um. And I'm three weeks full in and, September. Yep. Yeah, that's, you know, past Labor Day. So let's take a little break. And, and that definitely won't last. Three, seven, four, maybe? Nope. No, we could see a break and run, though. He's got a one ball shot, too. It's a rarity. I know. I'm excited. This might be a break and run. I know. I'm said. excited. I just said that. As he play the, the one and set up for the two four combo? Yep. I would. Oh, missed I missed the ball. Did that ball skid? Yes, it did. You can see it. It dragged. It went ha Yeah, if you look at it, it, goes, it changed. I was watching the ball roll, and I, I yep. saw it slide. Yeah, if you look at it. I didn't like that. You got drawn to the four? That was kind of weird how he set up for that position. He's going to bank this cross corner. I, yeah, he did try that. Already play safe. I don't, know if he, I don't know if he tried. I don't know what he did there, actually. He left on the two now. I kind of want to see this. Watch that. You see the cue ball halfway through. You see it skid. Yeah. That is kind of unfortunate. Caught it with my eye. Well, I mean, a lot of times you can either hear it or you can see it. That was definitely. Well, you definitely can't hear it. You can, yeah. We didn't have the music going. I could put on the overhead mic. 
I'm really thinking about when we move to the new place, if I'm in my own private room, I'm micing the players with wireless microphones. Oh, really? I think that'd be fun. Clayton with a chance to bring another one back. Yeah, I want to see a Hill Hill. Yeah, I mean, he was he was down, what, 6-1? Is it a 6-1 or 6-2? Oh, was it 5-1? I believe so. Be careful here. Well, he did just come from the bathroom. Maybe, maybe he saw that CR12 was going down in the bathroom, so he changed. So all of a sudden now he's fighting. <laughs> but I like playing for the eight in the side here. But if you try the to same, slow, if yeah, you try the to same slow side, this, you could end up on the right. Um, 50 yard line on the You play the ball. play the eight in the same side pocket. Right. Yeah. Coming down the table. Coming right. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, actually that's, that's a cut. Yeah. You can fall this across and just miss the 10 and come off of the 9. He's going to go right into the 10 ball. You think so with top? He's going to go below it. Uh, Depends how hard he hits. He might even hit it. Gets it soft. Yeah. No, he hit that really good, actually. Yeah. Draw straight back for the uh, the 11. He hit that pretty good. I meant the 10. Yep. Now we get 6-4. And he gives it to him. He gives it to him. We're at 6-4. For those of you just joining us, my name is Steve Sutton, Sutton Death, in the booth with you guys alongside Chris Freeman. Share the stream. For the summer, absolutely share, share, share. Well, this isn't a pro event, but... No. What's up, bro? Hey, Stu. Hey, you see who's going to be playing our Friday Night Fight? Steve Terrian. Playing yeah, he's Eli playing Gatton Eli. On the 11th of August. Well, he's got to warm up on somebody first. So Rochelle's playing the women's tournament, huh? At Strokers? She said she was in, yeah. Yep, the J.P. Newt. Yeah, whatever the hell, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah I said ooh. Yeah, um. Because he scratched on the break. Yeah, I'll be there. Um, I'm actually refereeing the event. Just some new bells on this Yeah. Thing. I mean, uh, well, the only one, only one I really have is the uh, is a Granite State APA when they referee for them, so I really can't wear that there. Oh, uh, John Lehman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a, he's like Michael Buffer in the pool world. He actually kind of is. Yeah, he really is. You see my new bells and whistles? I got the, the draw. Got here. all kinds of stuff over here. I couldn't do YouTube at the same time because the bandwidth wouldn't it kept, allow it. Yeah. It kept going to red. Well, here's the thing. I have a hard wire over here. The problem is if I go on a hard wire, it puts it on a different network than the wireless camera up there and the iPad. So then I lose connectivity to those devices because the hard wire from that is a separate than the wire wireless. <clears throat> There's no way to hardwire that. It's a wireless camera. Yeah. Unless you buy like a hundred and fifty dollar jumper. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I uh. I offered referee for the event, and I'm also putting Stephanie in Weekend. the event because it's her birthday weekend. So I put her in the tournament. So, yeah. Yeah, so I brought in a, my own router, wireless router that's sitting on top over there to try to create my own network and use that. But I haven't quite got through the bells and whistles on that yet. Nice shot. Good leave. See you, buddy. So, are you going tomorrow? What's tomorrow? So, 
Oh. Absolutely. Is that her birthday? Oh, yeah. Jones. Always nice to see a SIG employee. <laughs> I got to go to Hannaford's and get some. Uh... You did? To what? And he still work from home. You know, Bo. Oh, okay. He's gonna be a dad. I just found that out. Oh my God, that's good. Oh, that's a good hit. That was good, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I just figured I'd catch it. That way, I can always go back and say, "Hey, was that a good hit?" I don't know. Let me look at this and see and find out. Four ball day long. Split hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But. See you, buddy. Vice do. One. Yeah, I got it. Look, I was trying to set this first. Gonna draw it across the table. A shot. Yeah. Now, do you go rail first here and go three rails? Or do you use bottom right? Come I, just, the six? I just bottom right. Your problem is when you use the ball. He's putting dog. He's cheap. See, the ball freaking tends to rattle a lot. Oh, he crushed, crushed that ball, it. though. Ate that really hard. And he's calling saves and a kick one rail. Oh, you can see it. He's thinning the ball. Got for a punch out of the pocket. Oh, he's good. <clears throat> That's a great save. Right. Well, actually, Bo can, uh, Clayton can see this. If he can't make it. No, but he can play a safe off. What he can do, he can kick it this way and play kick it in the corner. And if he thins off the six, he sends a cue bar on the table. So he feels good with his kick and kick it to six. I would, I, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. He's gonna, he might try to cut this in, spin it in. If it's frozen, I would. Is if it frozen? It's, I don't know. Go to five. Yeah, you can't tell from that. It's really close. And he, by that reaction, I think he might have tried to do that. Yeah, he just screwed if up the it, real estate. Yeah, I mean, if if it was frozen, I would have done. You know, I would have gone for that. But right, we're gonna see a Steve Sutton draw shot right here. So draw right to the right side of the ten ball. Draw it straight back. I almost forced follow this with top right. No, I like to draw. Yeah, if he has enough angle, I don't think I'm not sure he does. I think he's perfect. He can do just a, a forced draw. He can hit it hard with draw, which will shorten the angle a little bit, which will put, draw him to the right side of the ten ball, which will put him on the nine. Just like that. He overdrew it. Nope, it come off really fine. Oh, I thought it'd come off there a lot higher than that. But that was the idea with the jump shot. That was the idea with the draw shot. Now, would you play this now a little bit more speed? Yes. Because you can't hold it for the side. No. So you got to go around three rails and yep. get the 10 in this side closest to the bottom of the table or the corner. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold that up. It's a lot of angle. I come down. Kind of like this. Yep. Oh, he tries to swing it that way. He's going to drink. He is. And the upper, I can see that rag, too. Nope. This one knows it's going to be 6 5. Wow. And he was down 5 1. Clay's making a comeback here. He's going see three it. rail position to the side pocket. Nice shot. Nice natural angle. He played the natural leave on that. Down it goes. We are 6 5 now. So race to 10. Uh, it's already 10 30. 25 viewers. Come on, guys. Step up that game. We had almost 50 earlier for the stream. Yeah, crapped crap. out. Yep. Good file save. 
I just did. Mm. Literally just did. What the move? Go to camera two for a second. What are you doing? Camera move. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. There we go. It was more square. There we go. It's the break. Watch the four and the eight I behind the one. Tighten the camera bracket. Maybe slipping. Sorry, the four and the five. Sorry. And they both went long, actually. A whole lot of nothing going on. Yep. But usually, if you hit that, usually if you hit that break and those two balls go long like that, you didn't. You need to hit harder to cut that down. Who's the Messiah? No idea. John, uh, just showing somebody the Messiah. Yeah, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, speaking of pool halls, though, um, today I believe in Fall River, straight shooters, straight shooters yep. opened back up. With the soft location. opening was today. Yep, I saw that. Be lots of Chow Mein. Is that where the Chow Mein Classic is? Mm -hmm. Never been to that pool, but that, that field is so quite from, far away. So from, it is. It's almost two hours away. Yeah, it's, we play down there at the vault. So from what I heard, this this new straight shooters in Fall River, it's two floors, uh, and they have a bunch of tables. Um, and they nice shot. Buddy. It's a huge building. Um, Always lucky you hit that six. Yep, and I think they're doing a tournament either this weekend or next weekend. I don't remember, but do you have the angle to play the two without hitting the three? Uh, no, he's gonna run to the three. I think. No, but I mean, without hitting the three first. Oh yeah, yeah, no, he could do that. He just he was he wasn't gonna be able to avoid the three. But now he so that we, that might go. We will go, but no, the eight. That's what I'm looking at. Past the ten, I think that goes. If they get on it right. Um, we got ways to go before he gets to that. Um, Maybe but three to the four is tough. From what Mike DeMar what I heard from Mike Demarco is. I believe it's two floors, and um, the so the soft opening was today. Oh, I know what Jeff's talking about. You being a smart guy? No, it was a. Uh, I think it was a picture. He made like top three or something like that, and there's an inside joke there somewhere, and I forget. It has to do. With, I'm pretty sure it has to do with that picture though. Usually, Jeff or JT take a picture of the top three, and Bo showed up and he was in the top three and took a picture and it had something to do with it, something to do with that picture. I'll tell you, if you guys used to watch um, Wednesday Night Madness um, stream, it's come a long ways. Those guys have really up up um, upstaged their game. Quality's way a lot better. So if you weren't watching it before because of low quality, it was always freezing up. Yeah. Give it a second chance because uh, now they got good matches and they got really good equipment. And uh, JT's doing the stream again. Yep. So he is. Give it a chance. You won't be sorry. He's doing it on Thursday night, which I think Jeff's all. Jeff is also making a ladies' night on Thursday night. Oh, what a night. Yeah. Is he playing it safe here, or is he going for the bank? Now he's trying to spin under the 10. Oh, I think he was playing safe there. But Bo can see this. And to go for an extension? No. Oh, go yeah, yeah, extension. Earbud. No, yeah, true. I don't know. What's he going for? Earbud, I think. Oh. This one hear us. I mean, I like he plays earbuds. in a real pool hall, so. I mean, I like earbuds when I play pool, too. Nice shot. So, yeah, that was a good shot. I got it. Calm yourself. That was a great shot. 
way to get that straight. Yeah, well, that was a good shot. You got back cut the six, draw to the rail, and hope for the seven. It no, he's not drawing. He's following. He's following two rails. And they just miss into the, the line of position. Nice shot. Oh, ball. Wow. Oops. No, oh, this is big. This is a chance for Clayton this to could be 6-6. Six, six. I know. After he was down 6-1, now he's going to come back to 6-6. Six, six. That's huge. Yep. This on? I don't know. Nice stroke. Soft drawback. So make sure when I get See, I think it's kind of extreme. I think it's kind of cheating because Clayton's got six fingers on his bridge hand. It makes his hand extra steady. And give he's got the, an extra support tool. Yeah, exactly. It's like a built-in tripod. Oh. Ties the match at six apiece. We're going to we're going to ten. And it's a four four race. And if if uh, Clayton wins this one, they tie. Right. Um, Bo had him six to one in this match. Good match. Yeah. Jason Seavey, what's going on? Ben Savoy, that's good to see you on the stream, buddy. Zach, what's going on? Zach Cosse. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Here we go. Clayton to the break. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no break and run this time. Two balls going sailing. See, they didn't hit the rack square. Right. Yeah, it was off square. I'm really hoping to see a break and run here at some point tonight. I would think, yeah. I would, I would think... Clayton's having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Position on the two is tough here. Tight window. I mean, he can roll down to the left side of the anywhere, two. Anywhere around the seven. Right, exactly. Left side of the two ball. He can play the two ball into the bottom left. Is a six as a stopper? Well. Something like that because now you get the six and impeding the... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that unless he tries to break the, the, with, with the, four. the four ball, right? Wow. <laughs> Crush that. Mm, put some speed in that one, that's for sure. Got a tight window to get on that six. Oh, he's going to spin into it yeah, right here. Yeah, he tried that. that he cleared it. Yeah. That was nice. It just floats down with the five. He's got the cut down the rail for the six. Yep. I mean, he's, nice the, he's at the end. Yeah, it was a great breakout. I mean, he has the angle here. Oh, is he drawing this? Yeah, he's gonna just got punched it across, I think. Wow, he just draw it straight back. Bo's coming with all kinds of shots here tonight. Yeah, that was a good shot. He's probably saying to himself, you know what? He's got enough. <laughs> Now, do you follow this? I would. because it, it, No, I wouldn't follow this. Because it rattles so it much would, in the pocket. Right. Oh, he hit that bad. Yeah, he did. But he's not really going to leave Clayton a shot here. I don't believe that tough six ball. Six. I don't think it's frozen. It's a tough cut down the rail. It looks might be frozen. And he's looking at he's looking at it now, and if it is frozen, you just spin it in, right? Exactly. I actually just I just taught Jamie that shot on uh, last Tuesday, the spin shot. Jamie Doobie. 
No, my APA oh. captain, Jamie Cabral. I told her, I'm, well, I worked out. Well, you get lucky. There. Yeah. Um, Kick the six from behind. I told her, I'm like, you're better off spinning that ball than cutting it if it's if it's frozen. And she made it a couple times, too, after. I was kind of impressed. He's measuring the kick to the He's, he's actually really measuring himself to make it. Uh, I think he's measuring to play safe. I think he's measuring to hit and stick. He's going to try to hit and stick that cue ball right there and send the six ball behind the eight. He's kicking in the corner. Just like that. Oh, all right. Wow. Nice shot. What the fuck? <laughs> Oops. Is it on? Yeah, it is now. But I turn it, I go turn it off and on between. That way I get them all. That way you get multiple. Right, because otherwise way. it overrides the last one. Right. And you want to create a string of them. Yep. That was a great shot. Yeah, that was a good one. That was the longest he's taken a shot tonight. Yeah. That was, that that up. was a good kick, yeah. He measured it perfect. Clayton wants to win. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. How do you make a kick like that? Yeah. Oh, that was a nice shot. That was a great kick. Right, we're going to see Bo go up 6-7. Possibly. I mean, should after you know. Oops. Big bounce. Yeah, that'll work. Draw it straight back for the tumble. He doesn't have to even draw it back very far. He doesn't have to even draw it back very far. He's going to draw it back or he's going to just go just, to the rail? Uh, just draw it back. Just draw it. Well, I don't know. I can't tell. So he's going to go to the rail. I think I just draw it back to the middle of the table. I mean, if he has angle, which actually he kind of does, he might punch it. Yeah, so he just draw it straight back. I wonder if Bo's running a tournament this weekend. I don't think so. Are you playing tournaments this weekend? No, this weekend, no. You're working tomorrow, right? I am working tomorrow, yes. Why this be without uh, Bo wins at Rax. Six, seven to six. Going to ten. Uh yeah, no, I am working tomorrow. Um I'm not playing a tournament not playing a tournament this weekend. I am playing the Fargo Rate main finale tournament, which is next weekend. That's in Portland, right? Yes. It's uh, 2,000 added to the finale. American Pool and Billiards. Yep. Gary Bryant. Gary Bryant's doing it, absolutely. He does a great job up there. Yeah, he definitely does. They just refelt their table to the gray felt, like the Moscone Cup. The diamond that they have there. The Moscone Cup is not using gray tables. They have the last couple of years. Have they? I didn't notice. Yeah. Yeah, Matram was using the uh, gray felt for the Moscone Cup. Is he going to try cutting this two all the way up? I think so, yeah. Um, But, yeah, so they're but diamond. But he's safe. You, well, you could do that. Ten. He's putting the two the two bubble. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think I like that. Try to go on the side with it. I didn't think I played in the side. You no, know, right? I did. Two I know. I kind of yeah. You just gotta cut it up the rail, and then that position is natural. You use a little bit of bottom. Back over. Miss the eight. Yep. Come out for the three. And it's a little tricky. Yeah, make the two, and then you gotta. That seven ball is a big ball. Right. The eight ball is a big ball. Yeah, it's not easy. Nice oh, shot. wow. Oh, oh, watch seven. Watch seven. He's frozen to the seven ball. You shoot me? Is he? Yeah, you can't see it. See? We're not frozen to it, but. Kicking. Yep. He called it. 
And he kicked it right in, and unfortunately, that's going to override the other one, but oh well. This one's worth it. A that, great shot. That was a good one right there. Unfortunately, that, that overrid the other one, but it's fine. Ball this to the rail and back up for the five. Stroker singles eight on Sunday. Steve, APA, handicap APA principles. The better player always has the advantage. Okay. Samot Sam. Oh, geez. Wants the winner? Huss. Samot wants a piece of bow again. He's already played bow once. I think they played one pocket, didn't they? Who? Bow and Samot. Oh, yeah. They played one pocket. I don't think bow. I don't think Samot's ever played Clayton. I'm sure he's played him in tournament. I'm sure, yeah. Wow. That was a great shot. That was a nice stroke there. Missed the seven. Uh, he caught it. He's going to have to play it all the way up. Yep. He's not playing this. The, yeah, so he's not playing this inside. He's got to cut it all the way up. Be a good shot. Yeah. Ready yeah. for a Winston. Cut it all. Cut it up and. Ready for an instant cup of coffee. We'll know it's in. Bef we'll we'll know it's in before him. So Samud, do you want to play the winner in ten ball? Well, he's just one pocket. Right nice shot. up the pocket. Wow. Very shot very confident eight. stroke right there. Oh. Uh, and I mean. He's doing a little fast. Yeah, I mean. It, yes, I know. I mean, it's. It is what it is. I mean, he's okay here. He can still cut this nine ball in. Maybe he'll be okay. Just got to cut it down the rail. He's playing safe. He's cutting it down the rail. Oh, that's, that's what I thought. I thought I heard him. I thought I heard him say safe. No. Well, this is they get two games back after Clayton had won the last five. Down it goes. Eight six. Eight six. You are watching Bo Powers versus Clayton Rocha. Next week we have off, and the following week, on June 30th, we have John Shiner versus Richard Knight. Like I said, like I said before, John Shiner is at a 5.49. I think that's a little bit low. I think he plays better than that. Bo's getting in a groove. Yeah, he's stroking the ball real well right now. Uh-oh. But that might cool him off a little bit. God. This table is so unforgiving when it comes to the break. Yeah. See, do you break, you break dry, you break, you scratch, or you break, and you have no shot on the one. Smut wants the winner in 10 ball, 9 ball, or 1 pocket. Doesn't care. <laughs> I'm going to do a combination. Smut, I'll set it up in September if you want to do it. That's my next available date. Ah, oh, Clayton missed that. And I think Smut beat Bo last time when they played yeah. one pocket. I like to play Smut. You ain't good enough to play some. Up. Absolutely, I might beat some up. Last time I played him, because he let you. Last two times I played him, actually. I beat him in the Mar Dion finale at the because Nest. He let you. And then I beat him in a Fargo rate tournament in Maine. Yeah, he let you. He didn't let me. You ain't good enough yeah. to sum up. Yet. Oh, he's behind the five. I don't know. I'd I'd play Bank I, the four. I'd play some. I think that'd be a good match. It'd be a good match. Yeah, you play the bank. On you. 
He said, let's do it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean, I right now my Fargo is a 606, but I feel like because I've got over 9,700 racks in Fargo, <laughs> I wish they got rid of like the last thousand because I'm right now I'd probably say I'm playing at like a 650 level, I would say. So we'll go behind the eight. I'd say at least a 650. Nice. There's a stroke right there. Some inside, go to the in rail and back up for the seven. Yeah, I would. A bit of left. To hold the line. Yep. I think the eight will go right in the side. He's looking at it now. He's looking at it to see where he wants to get from the eight to the nine. To get, well, he needs to get from the seven to the eight, and the eight to the nine. That's big. But it's for to get straight in on the eight. I think the eight goes all the way up. It does. I bet you it does. Stop it. Yep. Perfect. Oh About boy! Got ten ball in the same pocket. No, he caught the point in. Wow! Pocket speed. Three. Pocket speed and it drops. Alrighty. And eight seven. Oops, wrong way. Yep. Clayton's coming back. He's on a tear. Steve the sudden death against Samut Sam. There yeah. we go. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm game. Absolutely. Somebody, you want me to book it in September? You spelled it wrong. It's Sutton Death, but yeah, that works. Same idea. It's going to be certain death when you get in the ring with uh, Samut. Yeah. Well, Samut better bring his boxing gloves. Cause I'm coming for a fight. That'd be a good match, actually. Yeah, I agree. I'm just I'm hoping it doesn't end up as breaking even because the last three FN matches I've played, challenge matches I've played, I broke even. You gotta step your game up. Well, no. One of them was a doubles that I broke even with. And Jamie. You gotta go singles. You gotta claim the title. And the, well, go singles. and the singles, the last singles I played was against Roy Morgridge, and we broke even. Smith says I'll only play for a grand. Yeah, I'm not playing for He won't play for that much. I won't play him for that much. I don't have that kind of money. He knows that. Play for your title. What, what title? Timball title. Oh, yeah? My USAPL you know national title? Stuff? I got to say, real quick, off the cuff, is uh, Mindy, my oh. Eddie, and Frank. Yeah. Holy crap, have they turned pool around in Pennsylvania. He is doing such great yeah. things there with his tournaments. And he's just ratified the. Uh, he's got all the the titles for yep. the pool in Pennsylvania because they didn't have any. Yeah. A state championship. He's got an eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, straight pool. Oh yeah, one yeah. Pocket. He's got it all sewed up. That guy is doing amazing things down there. Kudos uh, to him. Absolutely not, Samut. I don't want any games on the wire. I'm playing you even. I don't ask for handicaps. I won't give handicaps. No, I'm playing you even, and we'll play, we'll play for something. But I, I'm not a huge gambler. You did it nice right there. That was a nice shot. I'm not a huge gambler, but I'm. I don't want any weight. I'll play you even. Some tough getting to the six. I'd play for like. I right, keep it in this match. Yeah, I know. Why well, I, I get you anyway. You're getting all amped up about trying to beat someone. No, no, I just. Oh, uh -oh. that died. That sucked. See, now that's like that force follow shot almost. He tried to get it down table on the top took and it didn't it really. Default. Right. So he's going to play a safe here. Uh, oh, no, no, it leaked. He might have him across side. He's going to have to fall with the cue ball on the rail and come across. He's going to have to hit this hard with some bottom yeah. left. Yeah. 
Well, we called Get it. Get the cue ball out of the way. Yeah, this isn't easy. It's going to be tough. I think he's looking at it, but if he can see if he can see enough of it to play the six off the eight in the side. He was looking at that. Ooh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. But the nine's in the way, isn't it? I don't think so. That's what I'm looking at. But if he does bank this six, I look at playing the seven. I, I don't think so. I think he already called it. I think he called the side pocket. Did he? No. Call it safe. Turn the cue ball back underneath. Yeah. Pin. I like that. Yeah, I mean, there's no now, cover we're, there, we're but... at the six. Is the six going the side off the eight? Yep, that's, that's exactly what, what he's looking at, yep. Does he have the room for that? Go to five for a second? He does. He has the whole ball. And I think he's going to hit the point. Oh, you mean, yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to go. I think he's going to hit the point. Oh, it's gonna be well, really depending cool. on where he hits on the eight. I mean... I think he's going to close. No. And if he hides behind the nine, he's going to get it back. Of course he is. Yeah. It's like, nope. Bo's like, nope, no. Nope. I can play it in the side. Don't want any part of that. See that? Now you can play it in the side. Yeah. Eight. It's a lot easier. Get a bigger window. Watch the hit. Three, it's a match. I don't know what that means. Maybe when I was saying, you said it's a match, and I said, okay, I'm on, and then maybe he means like me three. You guys. Well, Charles Gray is saying three. That's what match. I'm. I don't know who Charles Gray is. I don't either. It had nothing to do with you and. Oh, oh he missed the six altogether. Yeah, he well, he said someone's a lot. He said, let's rock it. So I'm assuming he was saying for that, but I don't know. Yeah, I got to get more details. Not enough information. But yeah, I'll set that up in September for you and Samut. Yeah. I, I love watching so much game. This I do, is wild stroke. I do want to play Obi, though, first. You can warm up with some much. Yeah, uh, well, I... You're going to need it. I, 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 yeah, well, I need to play Obi and finish the... The trilogy? Finish the story. <laughs> you guys don't have bad blood now, do you, over it? No. Good. No, I'm just I getting see anybody having bad tired of people. I just no, I'm just getting tired of pe people saying that how much oh, how much of a better shot Obi is than me. I, I know that's not true. I've I haven't, never said that. I haven't. I'm not saying you. I'm saying other people. Like I haven't played him in like six years. He hasn't seen me play. He hasn't seen me play a ball in like five years, and I've gotten a lot better than, since then. So anyway, back to the match. Nice shot there. Actually came above it. Took the side pocket out of play. Missed the up over the hill. Actually, you gonna play this all the way up? Well, I was looking the in the same pocket. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't play it in the side. He's playing it in the side. Follow forward for the nine. Just trickle it. Oof. Yeah. See, I don't know. I mean, now here's the tough one. He's gonna draw this to the rail and spin down for the ten. No way. He follows this. You think so? Yes. No way you draw spinning this. Spinning up two rails? You follow this ball. Yeah, he's spinning it. Yeah, he's following it. Yeah, that's, that's the shot. The follow. One rail, maybe two rails like that. Perfect. This puts him on the hill. Yep. What's going on here tomorrow? Is there a tournament here tomorrow or something? Not that I know of. Oh. I don't know. I have to pay attention to the calendar. That will put Mr. Bo Powers on the hill. 9-7. Give this guy a quick, quick guy, give this guy a quick shout out. We talked about him earlier. Terry and Q. Steve Terry and Terry and Q. 603-973-3571. There's a quick list of a lot of most of what he does. And the reason we're talking about him is because... Right there on August 11th, he is playing Eli Davenport for Friday Night Fights. So that should be a good match. To the break we go. Can we see a break and run on the hill? 
Negative. It's a dry brick. Wow. Yeah, table's breaking tough, I guess. I mean, and every time one of them breaks, they turn and look, just look at me and crack a smile. Yeah. <laughs> like they can't believe that the breaks are just so tough on this table. Yeah, I mean, he's going to back up this one. Wow. Shot. Yeah, he did. You can get that instant, did you? There we go. You do realize you have to wait. Did he hit that with a lot of English to backspin it? I don't think so. I think he just cut it in. I think, he just, I think he just cut it super thin. You going to play a safe here? Yeah, absolutely, he is. Oh. oh. Is he going to have a window? No. I don't think so. He might be able to hit it, but I don't think he's going to make it. Uh, are you sure? I think he might. To cut it in? I think the seven's in the way. Well, seven's definitely not in the way. The eight ball is the question, and he's playing. He's playing the bank, so he can see it. Nope, he see. just played safe. Yeah, he just said call safe. Jump he's you. jumping it. Wow, that's a great safe. Get that on him. They got it. You get him behind the six too. Jump safe right there. <laughs> he did actually. It was like a feeder of gorse shot. Nice kick. Holy Ooh. cow. Did he call that in his side? Oh, yeah. I think he's putting him back in. I didn't even see what Clayton's using for a cue today. Sure it's a, I'm sure it's a peach hour. <laughs> Clayton's coming to the table with his Cutting the two air rush. Side. Yeah, that's what he's going for. That's a hell of a cut. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he clipped the seven ball. Needs a new jump cue. Yeah. Clip the seven and Did I he bet use you the angle off the two to break the four. I think that's what he's gonna try to do. Nope. No. Nope. He's gonna use a three. He's gonna break it with the three ball. And he missed it. Wow. And he's behind the six and the eight. You go off the rail So he's things? yeah, he's gonna have to go right up rail first. Nine ball. Ooh. Oh, that's a good hit, though. Unless that's that key ball key falls combo. in. Yeah, it did. Nine eight coming up. I don't see any problems, do you? No. Other than making the balls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> Gotta make the balls, but yeah. Out of seven, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop it. Yep. Load down to the bottom rail. Come up for the seven. Don't go down too far. He's Don't go down too far. Yeah. Oh, nice touch. Well, oh, kind, eight, kind eight, of. Eight in the side. Ooh, I don't know. Eight in the side, you play the eight, nine combo. I don't know. I don't know he's playing a combo. I don't either, but that's a tight side pocket. Yeah, he's got this. Three rail position to the nine. Don't. Yeah, I didn't like that. And he's going to concede the match. That's it. Bo that Bowers takes it down. Wow. 10-7. That was unfortunate. Oh. Uh, for sure, Clayton was going to make that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I didn't like the combo, but I didn't like the sh the cut in the side was pretty extreme as well. Zero one. All right, guys, that and was tonight's Friday. There you go, right there. That's it. Two nothing. Yep. Uh, we we got in two weeks there, buddy. Hang on one second. Uh, I just, yeah, I know. I got gotcha. you. I'll call it away. 
All right, so you got you guys just watched Bo Powers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bo Powers versus Clayton Rocha, and in two weeks we got John Shiner versus Richard Knight. Speaking of Knight, we're taking off. So, guys, have a good night. <laughs> and we'll catch you later. Thanks, guys. Sorry about the troubles earlier. Bye.